Today we're going to install this sweet Huracan Fabrication Tailgate Storage Kit. It comes supplied with everything you need, hardware, the templates, and some really nice insulation. Firstly, we're going to get started by removing the stock cover from your tailgate. Next, we're going to remove any access panels on the tailgate. Inside the tailgate, you'll find a couple of sponges. You're gonna wanna take these out because we're gonna be cutting some stuff. All right, so next up is your template. Let's go ahead and get started on that. Now with a Sharpie or whatever you have handy, you're gonna trace the inside line of the template. One quick tip, cover your stuff up. There's gonna be lots of metal shavings and possibly sparks. And just like that, we are ready to cut. Remember, safety first. So I use my 
cutting wheel to make an initial cut and then I switch to my reciprocating saw for easier and more control cuts. A quick vacuum to clean up the metal shavings, some filing to clean up the rough edges, and we are set for paint. I used a bit of etching primer that I had lying around from another project and some black paint to finish it off. A bit of acetone to clean up the surface before we install the noise insulation. The insulation comes in some big pieces, so I just made a few cuts to make it more manageable before I installed it. Rinse and repeat. Now we can get to the good stuff. This part is simple, you're pretty much just going to lay the lid on the tailgate, line up the holes. Next up, you're going to install the supplied hardware. I believe it's a 5 or a 6 millimeter Allen socket and a 13 millimeter nut. After you bolt the lid down, you're going to move on to the latches. Um, for this, you're going to need a 10 millimeter wrench. You can remove the bracket from the back, open up the latch, and then set it in place. This nut and bolt is used to adjust the amount of clamping force on the latch, so you just gotta play with it until you get the fit that you want. After you've achieved the fit that you want, go ahead and replace the bracket. Now you can check for fitment and make any final adjustments before moving on. Now we're going to repeat the process on the other side.
and that's pretty much it um, the kit is pretty high quality didn't take very long and um, the instructions are pretty clear so this storage is primarily going to be used for my recovery gear and other small things that might need a secure place watching and if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and I will get back to you ASAP.